All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Welcome another back, nerd guys. cast. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. We're like all trying to compete over each other. <laughs> <laughs> Someone hey. should just get louder. The next person should get louder. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to it's another like, nerd cast. It's like the, what was it, the absurdly loud trumpet in Family Guy? Yeah, in Family Guy. We have to talk to our friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um,. I wanted to talk about some interesting stuff tonight, uh, especially I wanted to bring up MMOs. Now, th- I was reading an article. Uh, I don't know if it was like Game Former or PC Magazine or whatever, but somebody wrote an article on MMOs that really caught my attention. And I didn't think about this either, but if you notice now in 2021, for the past couple years or years, we haven't seen too many MMOs come on the scene. And if you notice, MMOs have kind of gotten to like a stale state at the moment where you don't see like companies coming out and trying to compete with like World of Warcraft anymore. Or you have these big MMOs like Elder Scrolls or, you know, Final Fantasy. And I thought, which was interesting, is the guy is totally true because MMOs have gotten in a stale state to a point where you just don't hear big MMOs coming out like they used to be. And I wonder if it's just because the market's just dying, or maybe no one thinks they can compete with WoW and Blizzard? I don't know. What what do you guys think? Here's my scenario that I had in my head this whole time, okay? Okay. Like, it's like an episode of SpongeBob, okay? And, uh, like, WoW and ESO and FF14 are the crowd, and they're all standing there, and this is the line they kick to every other MMO developer in the last, you know, 10-15 10-15 years. Mm-hmm. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone that stepped in, we're the wow killer or whatever, you know? Like, even the ones that are just like, yeah, we oh, think wow star. On, wow. Yeah. yeah, like, we think we're on wow's level or whatever. Six months, boom, shot, dead. Yeah, dead. Other, gone. Like, I mean, it's just all of them. At a certain point, you just have to kind of be like, yeah, it's not the move. Yeah, I. so I was going to mention, and now I know, obviously, I've been playing League for a very long time. But I think if anybody's going to have a shot to beat and or be up there in standards with all these MMOs, it's going to be right, right, with the League MMO. So they have yeah. to do this amazing and really good, or it's going to be very disappointing. But with the way Riot's swinging out with a bunch of these new games and great content, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of hopes in them. And I'm not just saying yeah. that because I love Riot. But, oh, I um, you know, I think Riot makes quality content, so I'm excited to see what they bring out with this MMO. And I think if yeah. anybody's going to take down these MMO giants, it's going to be them. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think somebody, I don't know. I, I feel like somebody could do it. It would just have to, like you said, it would have to be one of those bigger companies um, like Riot. Uh, I don't know any other bigger companies who would probably do that sort of genre of a game. Yeah. Because um, all the ones that I see that are on Steam is there's kind of two problems. One, it's all smaller companies that are trying to do it, so it's not like you're going to come up... You're going to have that huge scale of uh, you know the amount of workers to be able to do something on that sort of budget. But then also, everyone's trying to be the next WoW killer. And it's like, you're not going to... That's not... Just be your own thing. Don't try to be the same cool. thing. Just be your own thing. Do what you're going to do. Make your MMO. Uh, you know, just start from there. Uh, yeah. I know we've talked about it a bunch of other times, too. But the other problem is all the games that are being made now by most companies is everyone's trying to make their their next esports game, which tends mm. to be shooters. So a lot of these bigger companies, that's kind of all they're doing. Like everyone was trying to be Call of Duty at one point. Uh, like even Battlefield got to that point where they became a little more casual. <laughs> I remember when they added tracers to uh, pistols to make it more oh. casual. <laughs> they added tracers to pistols. So like... I, I just think that's kind of where they're at is everyone's trying to they're either trying to copy and make the next game and it just like he says fails after six months or everybody else's heads namely triple a you know top dogs they're just making shooters yeah so yeah i think when uh, everybody know, you know realizes that it's getting stale especially with the world war ii shooters um you know the God. fps genre is getting it's just kind of overdone at this point like i love shooters but that's why I feel like I've gotten bored from them is that's all people are making now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, mm-hmm. Another big point that I uh, to build on Nathan's idea that Riot stands a good chance. The one thing that Riot has going for them here that uh, every other successful MMO, you know, the top three that we were just talking about, ESO, FF14, and WoW, uh, have going for them or had going for them when they started is the lore 
in the League of Legends universe That's, is yes. deep. Yeah. I mean, if you if you really think about it, these companies are trying to come out and build these MMOs or whatever and build these worlds that so far nobody knows about and nobody cares about because they don't know there's mm -hmm. no That's connection there you know like there was a lot of emotional you know invested connection to a lot of these wow characters you know that come from the warcraft universe mm -hmm. same with final fantasy i mean let's not talk about the original final fantasy 14 so travesty but you know a realm, re <laughs> yeah. a realm reborn you know the, yeah. the real one the one that's competing and staying final fantasy's yeah. lore is same thing one, it is yeah. it is goes back forever same, you know, same with Elder Scrolls. It goes all the way back. There are people enjoying ESO right now that started on the first Elder Scrolls and could never have imagined that they'd be playing in a world mm. filled with other people, you know, with like quests and mm. all this, you know, and like multiplayer and all these things. So, I mean, I think Riot stands the best chance out of all these other ones for the simple That's fact true. that when you meet a character, it's going to matter. It's going to mean something, you know, mm -hmm. good or bad. It's going to trigger a response, you know, I, for the love of God, if Timo is not a raid boss, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, Timo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that that's something that these companies all overlooked in a big way is that they're, they're not established. You have nothing. You have to, you have to kill it in every single aspect to compete because you have no connection to your players before. I think uh, <clears throat> something, well, I feel like you kind of hit the nail on the head and it kind of maybe like solidified my thoughts on this is like, um, I feel like as an MO game or having any MO like, I don't know, direction at all, like with trying to create a new MO game, it has to be familiar. Like it has to be something familiar. Like I, you guys brought up like Wildstar or whatever, right? Um, wasn't that game like, a completely like original quote like idea and there was no familiar characters right like it was all, all random made by this some other company right or whatever yep i remember spending like what 20 minutes on it 30 minutes of it on it and i was like i was brain dead right i got off i was like i, I hate running into someone and they're like you know i don't know i'm doable i usually run this tavern and blah 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 yeah and, and whatever <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm a I'm a half troll, and my sister da da da. But like, it's one thing if you're playing again something like Elder Scrolls or Lord of the Rings, something like that. That makes sense. But when you try when you try to bring a lore together that has no story whatsoever, or you're trying to build a story off of a a, a, a freshly created lore, it just doesn't really work. And I feel like even if it was to work, that's the other side of the coin with the successful MMO is then you have to have an actual good MMO, not like yep, yeah. like anything from an actual like good quest um to like good characters and just good gameplay in general because i feel like that's the like like lord of the rings mo right obviously the original one the only one that's that is right now before this new one it's it had that uh it had that familiarity right but it wasn't that entertaining of an mo like people still play it and i would say the only people who still play it are either people who are checking it out or people who still play that game just because they they love it and that's cool that they do but if like Obviously, if you compare it to Lord of the Rings MMO to any of the other MMOs we just mentioned right now, it's not successful when you want to talk about it that way. Granted, it's been going on for like a long time too. Maybe like I think a little after what like WoW started, maybe a couple years or so after WoW started. I know it's not as old as WoW, I don't think, but obviously it didn't. It wasn't that gripping as an MMO. It had it had the lore, it had the characters, it had the familiarity, but it didn't have it, the mechanics. So I feel like you have to have a good mixture of mechanics and familiarity, and I think that's why. I think my other thought on this MMO thing is I like the idea of like, hey, is, you know, there's other MMOs out there, you know, free or not, let's try them. But really when you narrow it down, especially if you get rid of all the other junk ones that are just all freaking anime stuff and whatever, um, Final Fantasy, not, not including that, but you really only have like three or four <laughs> MMOs. And I think yeah. the reason why the scope is so narrow as well is because they have that. They have familiarity and um, a good mechanical like footing in the game and um i think people kind of that they're okay with that in a sense because anytime we're like we talk about like harry potter or something right we're like man i wish they would make a harry potter mmo i know they're making that rpg and they might i've heard before that i heard tell that they were possibly making like a harry potter mmo but i feel like the, if the fans are already there you just have to create the game, but make it a good game, and then we'll make yeah. it. We'll make it. We'll make it yeah. successful. But <clears throat> if it's like something completely random, like you guys remember that Dead Frontier Two? Not Dead yeah. Frontier. What's it called? It was that. It was a Dead Frontier. It was that like Red Dead Two esque like 
free to play MMO that was coming out. I think so. Yeah, I'm sure some people play it, but of course on Steam it has garbage reviews and whatnot, or it's mixed right. and no one really plays it. You know, like <laughs> yeah, like it's just not going to come up in conversation. So I think that's mm. a, a big reason why it, the 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 scope is so narrow as well. Like when you bring up MMOs, that's you're really only talking about the top three because yeah. anything else is e- either failed or it's just dead. And that's yeah. kind of the reason why, like, no one wants to play an MMO where you don't know anything at all and just learn everything. Like, myself, I'm not the biggest Elder Scrolls fan. I'm not. But I, I've always was kind of interested in Skyrim, even though I haven't played, like, the whole game. I do like that kind of fantasy as well. And I do like Deep War. So I got, that's why I got hooked right away. But I know just like what Hype was saying, there's a bunch of other people who played this for a while. And when ESO came out, they were like, they were freaking out. And they, like, loved it, you know, and they were excited about it and whatnot, you know. And so... Yeah, those, yeah. That's my, those are my two cents. I, I wanted to ask you guys, has there been a game that's come out in the past or maybe coming out in the future that you thought, or just the universe in general, that there's an MMO that hasn't been done yet that you would like to see turn into an MMO? That just, there's like a game or maybe something that you've like, oh man, that would be such a cool MMO, but nobody's done it? Frogger. <laughs> Frogger. <laughs> Frogger. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I was going to say yeah, Pong. Crazy, crazy Taxi. Pong. <laughs> yeah, could you crazy imagine taxi. a 300 player Pong match? Yeah. Man. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like that game would see a Battle Royale first before it sees an MMO. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nathan. What's up? Um, well, actually, it's literally my, my answer to that question, like my real answer. And I think it's going to kind of segue into your other topic, not that you're mm-hmm. ready to go into it yet. But I, uh, after I played Factions for the first time on the PS3, uh, Last of Us, uh-huh. um, obviously being a huge Factions player and being super into Factions, I always thought something, some MMO based something around like around something like that with the same exact mechanics and gameplay would, would have been really dope. And apparently well, we might be getting that, huh? Yeah, with the day before, right? <laughs> That's going to be coming out soon. Yeah, I'm excited hopefully. to see I'm how this really does. That game's going to be good. I True. mean, Division Last of Us, you can't go wrong with that. So we'll, well... see. But you can. You can go wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, you could, beat, yeah. you could beat it in the face with a golf club. I mean, you know, yeah, exactly. Like Last of Us 2 failed and <laughs> Division, no one plays that. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. Uh, um, is it for ideas? I, I'm not really sure. Because like, I, I, I guess like, now, now that Hype brought it up with the whole like familiarity and just having something that, that works, people can relate to. It's I don't then it just kind of turns any idea could turn into all these other Steam MMOs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it depends yeah. on what really would work, what would draw people in. Apex Legends I, MMO. <laughs> I have two that I think would work, but at the same time, I'm really glad that they're not being made into MMOs. Mm. But I think the two mm. that I thought would make great MMOs and have the established lore is one the Diablo franchise. Ooh. Yes. That would make an excellent MMO, I think. I mean, but the thing is, it would essentially end up being just a darker, grittier WoW. Not that that's yeah, bad. That's right. <laughs> yeah, not that that's bad, but it wouldn't... It, it's been too long. It wouldn't have any uniqueness to it outside of, you know, the setting right. and characters. Like, it would feel like a dark, gritty WoW. So, yeah. um, the other one, and uh, this one... I can almost guarantee will never be an MMO, which is not necessarily bad, but The Legend of Zelda. Hmm. Just create your own hero in Hyrule, yeah. you know, at I some point. Play that. And, there, play yeah, that. And, there's, and there's so many familiar characters and races and locations and, you know, different things. And with Breath of the Wild success, okay. they just blew it up or whatever to prove that this will work in a huge world. Mm-hmm. So, huh. I mean, that... I never thought about that. Yeah. <clears throat> Where you could create your own character and go through Hyrule and everything. Yeah, that'd be sick. Like proves. He said probably not. You know what? Never mind. Never mind, Blake. But uh, she, goes, she, was, she honestly just goes, no, probably not. I was like, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I may present to you the MMO killer. No. Yeah, the MMO killer. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Blake. Blake. She's been giving <laughs> <laughs> it's been giving bad reviews to all these MMOs or whatever, and yeah. killing them single-handedly. And the thing is, if you know if Nintendo did it well, that thing would print money. Let's be honest here. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, I'd be in. They'd be in? Yeah, I, yeah that would I'd, actually be fun. 
you could literally show me no gameplay and just show up one day or whatever and be like, there's a Zelda MMO, and I'd be like, cool, check it out. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be all I'd need to hear. But, you know, you know again, I don't think it's going to happen. It's not Nintendo style. They don't tend to give two shits about online or things like that. And also, if it's bad, oh, God, could you imagine the fallout from that? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Hey, That's uh, why they're never going to make a Mario RP or MMO. <laughs> it's too big a no, risk. I was getting ready to say Mario earlier, too. <laughs> Caleb. What's up? Um, actually, this is to continue that uh, idea kind of about like the whole, like, you know, have you had an idea about an MMO? So I actually just thought, I just remembered an idea that I did have a long time ago. Was are any, I'm sure Hype is familiar. I know Nathan's barely familiar, probably, but you guys are familiar with the uh, PlayStation Home. <clears throat> Uh, I, I know what it is. PS3. So it was, you know, kind of a small community, but there's a lot of people who liked it, prison. including me and Caleb for a while, anyways. But <laughs> they had a uh, they had a Hogwarts Express like level or place oh, you could like that, visit yeah. in the game. And when you go there, like in PlayStation Home, anywhere you went that was a specific themed place based on a game or some world or something like that, you get like free clothes or free items in the game, right? So the cool thing about this is me and Caleb would go on the Hogwarts Express all the time, and everyone would get um, like the, the the student robes, the cloaks, this and that, like the whole shebang, right? But of course, on top of that, you can change the color of your your name floating above your character. So like a lot of people would kind of change the color to like what house they're kind of in, or whatever. And, but anyways, long story short, there's a few mini games in there you could do. And one of the mini games you could do was actually duel somebody else in the train. Now thinking about the mechanics, it probably wasn't too difficult it was kind of a button masher but the idea for me was like i was like bro if they made a fully like fully functioning harry potter mmo i'd be down like in a heartbeat like that'd be awesome <laughs> yeah that would be yeah. kind of cool <clears throat> like to do all the alchemy and whatnot and yeah so i, I thought that'd be really cool mm. we'll see yeah no that would be awesome i guess um, they're making an rpg but if they made the mmo i mean i'd be over that too yeah <laughs> so I want to talk about our next topic, which was Ill coming out. Um, this is going to be a first-person shooter. It's uh, in a set in a horror setting. Um, apparently, there's only like, there's only so there's this popular. I don't know. So this, this guy on YouTube. I don't what number. I don't remember exactly what his name is, but he makes like these weird videos, and people ask them, "Why don't you turn these videos into like a game?" And so he's been hiding this project under the works and he's been building this game out of the unreal engine and it looks really cool it kind of looks like a uh, resident evil meets um i don't know how else to explain it but there's like a bunch of dismemberment in the game and yeah when you shoot somebody the graphics look we the, the graphics look very like eerie right mm -hmm. so when you play the game apparently there's going to be no music in the game it's just yeah, he wants to create the fear factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, Caleb. You want to explain a little bit more? Uh, I mean, from, so from what I have seen, so this this guy. Did you guys ever see the videos from it before? I watched the trailer. That did you see a hype? Posted. Did you see any of the clips hype? Sorry, I'm still trying to finish eating. No, uh, you okay? <laughs> yeah, I forgot you were eating. Uh, no, I haven't. Um, you real quick, you can check it out. I think Nathan put it in chat. I did. Um, it's yeah, one of the, the latest video came out with. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, let me. So you guys keep going. I'll give this a watch. He's created the uh, so all these things like he's making this himself, and so it's all yeah. on Patreon. You can um, you know subscribe to it, help him out to developing the game. It looks uh, sick. Yeah. So everything is literally animated down to like the actual character models, the way they're animated, the head explosions, everything. He's made himself. Like he's like this insanely like talented guy. He makes these really weird like videos, but he's creating this game. So it's not like a typical like horror game. Like so, I don't know if there's any like triggered uh, events that'll happen in the game, kind of like a linear, you know, traditional linear horror game. Um, but the most important thing is instead of like enemies being animated, you know, like with deaths, um, dismemberment or anything, none of it is keyframed and animated. It's all physics based. So, so cool. and then everything cool. is is uh, animated in a sense of there's like actual ligaments and uh, tendons and whatnot. So when you shoot something, the angle that you shoot them at can change the way that they actually blow up, basically. So the whole game they interact with the world around them, and then the way that they get shot by guns, they'll fly certain ways. If they hit a wall, they'll spin, you know, a random. They'll, they'll spin randomly. Whatever, everything is just based off of physics. 
So that's kind of the coolest thing from the, of this game. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, like Nathan said, there's no music, so it's completely atmospheric. They just want to draw you in. It's yeah. actually kind of funny it's about that, game, though. And it looks awesome. The idea about like the whole physics-based like animations and whatnot, it's, it's kind of funny. It brings two thoughts to my mind. The first one is... Some people might take that as like laziness, where they kind of mm-hmm. think of like, oh, you don't have any special like you know ways that they die or this and that, blah blah, or or certain actions, or whatever. But then I'm I'm like, I feel like it actually just brings more realism for sure, because too many times right. you'll see in video games where you happen to run into this other zombie or other enemy you fight, and you see that they specifically die the same way another zombie was just killed like ten seconds ago. Right. So it's cool about thinking about that whole physics based thing is that it's going to be different every single time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. You don't see a lot of big physics like games like this. This is very unique, I think, right. personally. I don't. I haven't seen a lot of stuff like this before, where it's very uh, yeah. the the uh, dismemberment is super like animated and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and the game like itself looks. It looks like a short video. Mm-hmm. Like it looks like he animated the whole thing, but this is real time in Unreal Engine, mm-hmm. and that's the crazy thing. Like it looks like a video that was animated. To be this little creepy scene, like it's just showing off his, you know, animation skills. But this is but an actual, actual gameplay. gameplay. Yeah, and that's the crazy <laughs> thing too. So he, he's been showing off like a couple of videos, like here and there, like the video I linked. This is the most recent video he came out with with this game, and it's got his little Patreon link that's uh in the subtext at the bottom. I'm uh, it looks awesome. Can, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm hoping he can get some big following behind this because yeah. if he can get some good crowdfunding or like maybe a studio pick him up, that would be cool. Like I'm I'm hoping yeah. this guy can get this game off the ground because it looks sick. Yeah. Alright, All right, yeah, I checked it out. Cool. What do you think? What's your thoughts? Not enough big titty vampire girl. <laughs> <laughs> and wouldn't she confirm she's nine feet tall in village? That's what I heard. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, I mean I'm six foot one, you know, we're in the room. <laughs> no, it looks it looks sick. Um, it it looks a lot like a, like a super twisted version of Condemned. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Condemned. Yeah. Like, like, uh, forever. Yeah. It look it looks really sick, and if he can pull it off, it's gonna be awesome. My problem and concern here is from watching the video, and this is all speculation very early into what may not even be development the way everything moves it almost looks like he's trying to make it a vr game which could be sick but historically the only like the only two vr games that i can think of that i've played personally and was like oh wow these are sick is half-life alix and uh resident evil 7 Mm -hmm. so i mean like you're you're stepping if he if it does go the vr route he's got a lot of work cut out for him yeah yeah yeah, I haven't checked out. Uh, does somebody want to try to find it on Patreon? It's uh, uh, I Clout, think you linked it Clout in the video. Games. It's Clout underscore games. Yeah, it should be in there. Does it say anything about it being VR or like first person? Uh, like, you know, let's just see like uh, non VR, I guess you would say. Let's see. Um, I don't think on. it is though, but it looks cool though. Like, I think, oh, never mind. Apparently, I there's about they, four people working on it. So. Okay. Yeah, I think the interesting thing about the game, though, is you'll see all these different horror games. You know, people, they see you, they got to run fast. You got to have the scary music. They got to run fast. They got to scream at you. They got to attack you. This game, it's like old school zombies, you know, kind of. Hmm. But so I don't know what else, how this game is going to work. Like maybe zombies or these characters the enemies are just going to get scarier and scarier. Like, I don't know how this game is going to work if there are triggered events and whatnot. So it, it's, kind of, it's kind of cool. Cause like, it, I feel like every time you see something, you just, you don't really know what to expect in this game. So I like how he does throw out a little, you know, small videos. Is it just me room. or does the gameplay actually look like a texture pack you'd buy from like the store off like the unreal engine or something like that? Kinda, kinda, yeah. yeah kinda. You know, it just looks like an unfinished game, but I, I like that. It's kind of a cool feeling to it. I mean, to see like how far this is for something that is in development, though, in the yeah. early stages. Like, four know, people. I don't know how long <laughs> they've been working on it for. Yeah, it mm. looks cool though. Mm. And, and to be fair, it is an unfinished game. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But it looks really good. Though, <laughs> You're an unfinished, unfinished game hype. Uh, thank you. I do have a lot more left in my story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of boobs. 
<laughs> not maybe not the kind that you're all after, but you know. But they're there. Bro, all you right. haven't even made out cool, of the character though. screen. Yet. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm still in character creation. I'm gonna have to start over too. I think I fucked this one up. <laughs> Didn't we all? Nope, this one's uh, hardcore mode, man. You gotta finish life with this one. Next one, Ethan. <laughs> Cheating. Next one. Oh yes. So you guys can probably quote me on this. Um, apparently. You think I'm so they just banned about what was it like sixty thousand people from Warzone on Call of Duty for cheating? Mm-hmm. Not a surprise, right? That's been happening. That's probably but, the most hacked game like still out today. Yeah, it's so I wanted to ask you guys, why what do you think drives people to cheat? I mean, obviously you want to win, right? But like yeah. what is why why are people so attracted to cheating? Like is there a, a thing about it that just draws people to it like i want to know what are your guys thoughts on these cheats and why is there so many <laughs> cheats available to the internet i think people uh, just think it's fun like they just you know they just want to try it out they just do it just because i mean especially I mean, if, you have, if you have a free-to-play game you know it's kind of yeah. no different than the kid or whatever that acts like an asshole in school you know mm-hmm. because he has shitty parents and things like that i mean a lot sure. of these people they want attention and un- it's sad to say but these are the type of people that can't differentiate between good and bad attention. Attention yeah. is attention. You know, they want to be acknowledged, be it good, bad, whatever. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, and if you mix that in with things like self esteem issues, you know, or uh, being a straight fucking sociopath. Uh, you hear him, guys, is calling you out. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not hard to Nathan. see why people cheat. <laughs> people cheat in games the same way that they, the same reason that they cheat in things in real life, you know, fear of failure and the need to to win at all costs. Yeah, yeah you know what? I can probably ask this question to myself, like Caleb was telling me, mm-hmm. because when I was, I think I was 12, 13, I playing Counter-Strike Source, my first Steam account got banned because I cheated <laughs> with an aimbot. I, I cheated with an aimbot. And I, I thought it was like, I forgot time. about that completely. Thank you for bringing up my past. You're welcome. And, uh, <laughs> we were once bad, much, but now we're good. much of an a-hole I am. Once a cheater, always a cheater. We were once yeah. bad, but now we're good. Because and I, was, I was part of like a, uh, a Counter-Strike source like community and all that. And I went actually on the forums and like apologized and was trying to like get their trust again. It was really bad. But anyways. Crying, tears that were everywhere. <laughs> yeah. This subject is personal, I think. <laughs> Why I downloaded it, I don't remember. I'm sure I just thought, oh, I could just get away with cheating yeah. and winning, you know, because I think I was so bad at Counter Strike and shooting that I'm yeah. like, I don't want people to think I'm crap anymore. Right. Well, I think so. The thing is also, too, I, go, ahead, go ahead. No, I'm nice. Okay. All right, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> yeah, I'm the nice one. <laughs> I was going to say, I think honestly, though, it's not even that deep sometimes. That I think one. honestly, sometimes it's literally just people wanting to try something like, because I've even had that thought before where I was like, I just imagined. I I wasn't serious about it because I didn't go go through with it. I didn't even. I, didn't, I couldn't. I didn't down anything or whatever. But I thought mm-hmm. one time, you know, like, hmm, wonder how it would actually be if I was the wall hacker and shooting everybody instantly in the head with the LMG. Like, right. I think mm-hmm. some people do it just because they are like, can I actually do this and would it work? And I want to see how it feels. And that's it. Like sometimes it's not a huge deep control yeah. thing. It definitely can I, be, for sure. I Probably more, often more than towards, not. It is. But. Yeah, I, I think some people. There's a good portion of people who are just bored. They just want to do it just because, you know, maybe like, you know, how Nathan, you know, uh, he just was like, I just want to try it, you know, just to, yeah. just to do it. And then you're hooked and then you're homeless and you have an addiction. <laughs> well, I didn't uh, go that far. But <laughs> well... no, I think it stems more towards like what Hype was suggesting is the thing is, too, with the Internet, you're, you know, anonymous to a mm. point. And especially with games like, you know, you could be an asshole online people don't know who who you are in person you know you could do all you want people aren't gonna you know jump you and you know beat you up for being an asshole but it's like i will can be who, yeah, yeah uh, he'll find you yeah. i can imagine right now yeah. you know i, you I will do what you want to do and <laughs> i know where you live yeah you know, people aren't people aren't gonna care or you know people will care but the, they can't do anything about it except for hitting the report button and if you have companies like PUBG who are like nope that's xenophobic can't do that See, or, oh or the God, people, you know, have other companies who don't want to do anything like there was a video i saw the other day it is this guy doing like a little skit he's like this guy's cheating he's like oh yeah hold on let me go and log in and then it shows like the little clip the guy's cheating he's like i was just it was just like a lucky shot he was like dude he's clearly cheating he says i love these hacks he's like no he said he loves these snacks 
I love like, his act. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like sometimes it's just companies, they just either have a horrible anti-cheat or they just don't care at all. And then you got other people like whatever his name was, player unknown, who just give some sort of BS reason of why they keep them around. Yeah, uh, so, so like snacks. But I think, it's, yeah, I think it <laughs> comes, you know, stems more from the uh, anonymous uh, position. You know, um, yeah, cheats are, they just ruin everything, right? <laughs> mm. Hey, you want to cheat in your single player Grand Theft Auto gameplay or whatever? Hell yeah, we've all done it most likely. It's fun, you know, and it doesn't Absolutely. hurt anyone. Go nuts. Yeah. You bring your cheats to an online lobby or whatever, and I sincerely hope that, that we pass a law that says we can abort people that cheat. <clears throat> I it, uh, straight up, you know, don't call it murder. It humanizes them too much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, it's funny to think that like older games basically put like put like legal cheat codes in their games. Obviously, you like Lord of the Rings, right? Like Two Towers, Return of the King. You could like go to the options menu. It'd be like cheat codes, and it, it's like back then. I think they're ba- they were barely posted online, which brings me to that thought of like, do you guys remember those cheat code books you find in like Walmart and stuff? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've <totally laughs> they're fun. Those, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, think that, I think that's how we literally got the Lord of the Rings cheat codes of Return of the King. We get like the eternal health, whatever, right? Where so. we wouldn't lose health, whatever. Yeah. Or we could just do, pause and just put a push it up whenever we wanted. And me and Kel would do those like wave thing, the tower wave battle, whatever it was, where it's like 20 waves or some crap. Yeah, that was fun. The tower. And we would just have eternal health and we just kept going. <laughs> like, I want to see if this ends. I think it did. I forget what round it went to, though. It'd be funny yeah. if it called you a cheater when it ended. That'd be awesome. <laughs> it's like right. impossible to get there without him. And it's just yeah. like, you cheater. Yeah, okay. We give you this. Apparently, one, but... there are like single player games I was reading up about. There's like 10 single player games that have been released over the years that actually hurt you for cheating. Yeah. <laughs> but a single player. Because yeah. the companies just don't want you to cheat in general. Yeah. You know? What, what yep. were some of the games? Uh, I gotta remember. Most of them were older games or whatever. Yeah. Back when, yeah. like, back when, like Game Shark or Game Genie was a thing and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, I was on a Game Shark. <laughs> yeah, same. I mean, yeah, it was fun. fun. It was fun. <clears throat> I used to screw around with them or whatever on, uh, like, uh, Jet Moto. You remember that game? I remember. That Super, Super Mario 64. Yeah. That was there. You wild. go. Yeah. <laughs> no, man. Uh, what, yeah, what was it Jet Moto? You used to be able to put in like a a low gravity cheat. You just do infinite tricks. That shit was awesome. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's fun. But yeah, cheats and uh, hacks, they're just... I don't know. People, they suck, right? I just don't like cheats and hacks. <laughs> oh, okay. Bonus topic tonight I wanted to bring in. Uh, I have an article here uh, from PC Gamer. That it reads, back in 2008, plans to release an HD remaster of Rare's GoldenEye on the Xbox. Live Arcade was... Scrub- was uh, scrapped by rights conflicts, but now, over 12 years after its intended release, a long lost build has surfaced on PC, playable via emulation. This is really cool. Why? I want to know, like, why do people hide this kind of stuff? Like, I just think copyrights and all that ruin video games, right? Because even like, look at look at Friday the 13th films. They're in limbo right now because I don't know who owns Friday the 13th. What is it? Is it um? Who's like the the guy that wrote Friday Thirteenth? Anybody know the original? Bill. Bill, right? Uh, and I like, threw a name out. I haven't to be honest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just Bill, agree. right? I was like, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill. Bill. <laughs> Ted um, from marketing. That guy's a douche. <laughs> but it's so sad. Like people in the end suffer. Millions of people suffer and want to have fun because somebody wants money. You know, it's Andy just theft is not like so so bad. <laughs> Wait, uh, so this was for the three sixty one. You said right? Three yeah. So apparently so there was a uh, earlier about it. Um, yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I was reading up about it, and so pretty much what I what I got from it was it was just gonna be too expensive from a, a project because they had too many hands in the pot. You had like Nintendo, um, obviously Xbox, and then there was a couple other um, I don't know if you call them, like companies or whatnot. But there's mm. too many people that had their hands in the pot having to deal with like licensing. And then you'll also have to add into the fact of the people that they're modeled after, you know, if they want their likeness to be used in the game, that's going to cost money to you know pay them out. So it just yeah. became this whole expensive project where it just that's why it just never really even happened. It's sad. That, that's what I heard. So I, I don't know if there was more to it, but that's kind of what it mainly came down I, to. 
I remember reading something about that too when they did actually announce that it was canceled. Because it was finished. <clears throat> it wasn't a big announcement or whatever. Yeah. When they canned it, there was like a small little blurb or whatever. I think I read about it in like a Game Informer or something yeah. like that. And I was like, I was like, oh, that sucks. Yeah, because it was. I, I mean, think yeah. it was finished, like pretty much 100% finished, and that's what it came down to. It was just way too much money, so they were like, yeah, we can't do it. I don't know that it was finished because typically, if you're finished with something and you, you know, are worried it's not going to make money, you still release that shit because making back some money is better than none. True. Yeah. I know so, the, uh, but uh, I know that they the... were far into the project. Mm. Source is still. So, I think it's a, it's a full playable game now, isn't it on the PC? They mm -hmm. were saying on the emulation. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I mean. Modders are some incredible people, you know. Some of them are assholes, create cheats and things like that. I mean, you know, but I've seen what people pay per month for some of those things that require subscription. Um, if I meet the guy, I'm going to kick each of his balls individually, but at the same time, I'm going to be like, I get it. That's a lot of fucking money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God. But yeah, screw those guys or whatever, rich bastards. Modders that actually create content you know, or create something new are incredible. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've I've played full DLC worthy storylines in Skyrim that were just a mod. Yeah. You know, like I, I it's amazing. It's like a four hour story. Well, it's, a, it's actually funny you say that because Thank last you. night when I was watching YouTube, I shum I stumbled upon this guy he was he's been working on him and his buddy they've been working on this project for over like nine or eight years now and it's a hd remaster pack for resident evil 4 and so a long time you know a couple of years ago whatever whatever you know how many times they've re-released resident evil 4 but um they came out with an ultimate hd version quote unquote and it was just a money grab like they just want to make more money but and this guy they had like a uh, passion project of him and his buddy and they went through every single section of the game and they've actually updated HD 4K wise to the game like it's really cool and you can see it's passion versus money yeah. so like Hype was saying for mods like these modders do some incredible things and I wish these companies would just get off their butts stop being greedy and hire these people right. like if someone has a passion to remake a game and you're too lazy to do it just hire them to do it pay them the money because right. you know if there's an audience for it. You know people are going to want it. So yeah, just let them sure create it. For less than you think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw that um, uh, there was an article actually that just came out today on GameSpot. That was, or uh, PC Gamer. And it was saying that the uh, the Half-Life um, Alex modders are actually attempting to remake the game in VR. Oh, <laughs> you mean out of VR? Yeah. It is a VR game, bro. Oh, is it already? For, yeah. For Half-Life. Half Half Life no, Alex? No, Gold, oh, no, Gold oh and I. No, Gold oh, I thought you were talking about Half Life no, Alex. No, like, no, no, I know that one already. Yes. That's the same way. Like, I was like, that's going the other way. They're trying to. They're trying to <laughs> yeah, you heard, you heard that, that right, too. I didn't just hear Half Life yeah, Alex. Yeah, I heard it. Uh, it no, no, no. <laughs> no, I was saying the modders are attempting to make the game uh, VR. Oh, that's Sorry, cool. To specify. But yeah, they're trying to do that. And then, um, what was it? Uh, it says, because they were uh, promising. What was it? Let me see. So that they were attempting to re remake the game in VR, while promising Unreal remake was unfortunately uh, canceled. Issue uh, or was it issued a cease and desist uh, late last year. So I don't know yeah. if that was it's the way that it reads. I don't know if they were talking about that one because it's like it says that they're attempting to make it, but then the sentence after says cease and desist. So I'm confused. But either way, though, um, source though that I was reading up, source is actually still around. But I'm not sure what the player count is for that game. Yeah, there was yeah. a. I just linked a video chat about. Um, there was a couple guys that remade the first level of Tomb Raider 2 in the Unreal Engine, and it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks like Fortnite. Fortnite. Really cool. yeah. Um, and I was like, that would be like, so cool. Especially the character from Fortnite. Fortnite. Holy crap, it's funny. Who, Tomb Raider? Yeah. Yeah, Laura, Laura Croft. No, Tomb Raider. No, her name is Tomb Raider. <laughs> See, yeah, her name is Tomb First Raider. name Tomb, last name Raider. <laughs> Just like Link's name is Zelda. Yes. All right? <laughs> yeah, God. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that, that triggered me so much, dude. I always hated that in high school. I mean, that was, I didn't really know much about Zelda back then. It was like, oh, Zelda. And it's like, his name is Link. And I'm like, why do they call it Zelda? 
Let's not um. Let's not cross. Story about the, the story is about the princess. Then why are you why are you late the entire time? It just makes sense. Let's not cross Tomb Raider with Fortnite, please. Let's uh. Yeah, the remake that's, actually looks really bad. good. <laughs> yeah. They already they already put the nail in Halo's coffin with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I hear one kid anywhere, I don't care where it is, point at Master Chief. It's the guy from Fortnite. I'm hitting him. <laughs> I, don't care, I don't care what age, public or not, I'm gonna hit him. It's like jail uh, or not, it's worth it. That's like, um, uh, yeah, I just totally forgot the, about the the title. Uh, what game was it? The Apex uh, stemmed from. What was it again? Uh, uh Titanfall. Titanfall. That's like, mm. yeah, that's what like when people on TikTok or YouTube see uh different guns from from a uh, time fall and they're like that's the gun from apex yeah that's and the gun and everyone's like Ree! the r301 yeah. direct rip off <laughs> the ar from titanfall while we're on the subject of titanfall titanfall 2 uh multiplayer excellent single player campaign one of my all-time favorites for shooters really? absolutely incredible um being that it's on Steam now, if you can, you know, if you have the money to pick it up and just try it, awesome. You really I have it on PS4 actually. I got a perfect Perfect. Kind of sky below. Beautiful. Oh, play the campaign. Game. You won't be sorry. Um, but yeah, honestly, you know, if you can get it on Steam, and you know, or even if you just want to wait for a sale and pick it up for five bucks, you know, like Shiloh did, do yourself a favor if you love first-person shooters and sci-fi and stuff like that. Play it. It's so Heck good. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll have to pick I haven't that actually up. really had a big uh, review for that before where someone was actually excited about it, so I might have to play it then for sure. You yeah. got a game share with Shiloh now, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. Trust me, yep. you won't be sorry. It's terrific. That's good. That's the, uh, good. the bunny hopping like speed runs oh. in that game is insane. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The the wall runs, the mm-hmm. level design, the fast paced combat. Um, if you play it on the harder difficulties, the fact that you actually have to think about how you're going right. to move and when, you know, uh, it, it was it was awesome. Like, just, nice. I wonder what it'd I don't, be like. If... I don't spoil any of it, but it it goes off in directions. So you're just like, holy shit! Like multiple times. I wonder what it'd be like <laughs> if, uh, right. if Apex was actually a lot more similar to uh, Titanfall. Had with, wall running with, with wall, like the wall running and all that. I remember people were really upset when they played Apex for the first time after hearing that it was, that it was essentially a a Titanfall uh, BR, and then there was no wall run. Oh, really? a, lot of, a lot of people that were like really let down by that. <laughs> well, didn't Titanfall two when it first came? Well, did it get like terrible reviews or something like that? Or am I going crazy? No, it actually got pretty good reviews. It oh, just, what was I hearing uh, for about that? I mean, it didn't get reviews. It wasn't coming out with like tens or whatever, but I mean, you know, maybe like, it just didn't have a big it, fan base at the time. You know, it was getting, you know, like most of the reviews I saw, it was getting like, you know, 8.59. Huh. But I, uh, where I was going reading then. I'm just watching yeah. this clip from uh, 007, and I totally forgot Melee in this game. You uh, karate chop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And, it, and you can do it that shit. Just <laughs> <hand up>. screen. <laughs> just picture this guy in a suit and, you know, lame karate stance walking around everywhere. <laughs> you know, people come up to him or whatever. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> do not jump. I see where Infinite Warfare got their taste from. Right? For Call of Duty. <sighs> Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> never bought it, never experienced the hate for it, so I don't. I'm glad I missed that out. Uh, I, the, I mean, I experienced the hate for ghosts. I played ghosts, and that was trash. Yeah, ghosts was trash. I think COD got worse, and then I was like, I almost feel like playing ghosts now. Don't do the dance, <sighs> boy. Yeah. Don't you guys miss playing Call of Duty when everyone was grasshoppers in Advanced Warfare? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Running on wall. <laughs> Actually, I probably like that, huh? Yeah. No, I like the exosuit, the idea of it. But then when once you got to like not a lobby that wasn't a full full snipers, like it was not the sniper mode, and people yeah. were just jumping around, you couldn't hit anybody at all, and everybody hitting corners like more than usual because you could actually float. Yeah, I was like, no thanks. I'm all good. you had to do was just learn where you had to automatically aim, so the game would the timer would go down three, two, one. Right, you jump up in the air and just right. snipe. Yep, I'm yep. gonna get judged for this. I know, but. <clears throat> Modern Warfare 2, I think Black Ops 1 is the best Call of Duty, personally. I, think so I agree. 
I agree. I think I agree. the I the gunplay was better in, in Modern Warfare. I know everybody's yeah. crazy about Modern Warfare too. I get it. I get it. But I, I, I don't know. know. For I me, think the game. I think the gunplay was better in, in MW2. Mm-hmm. But I like the maps and I like just the idea of yeah. Black Ops. And, and I don't know, the maps are really good. Yeah. Yeah. I like the, the guns too. I, like I mean, the, the silencer, silencer Galil couldn't pass that up. Yeah, silencer Galil. Ghost <laughs> seems to be a pretty, pretty even split. Fast hands too. Yeah, I know a lot of people that are like MW two, and I know a lot of people that are like Black Ops one. Yeah. And I'm over here just sitting between the two, like I like you both. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, like I don't have consoles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. You guys are talking with the younger kids now, though. But what's your favorite Call of Duty? Oh, Black Ops. What's your favorite Call of Duty? More two. You talk to a twelve year old kid. Hey, what's your favorite Call of Duty? I liked. Um, uh, I like Black Ops 4. Like, yeah. okay. Get out of no, here. No, yeah, get out of here. Kid. You have that one random guy that comes in and is like, I like Call of Duty Big Red 1. I love the when Xbox. they say, like, when they say something like that, when they're like, I think Advanced Warfare was actually the best card. You're like, who the heck are you? In I like asking <laughs> Yeah, people, who the heck are you? I like talking about games. I guarantee there are people like that. I there like are people like that. I guarantee it. Like, you know what? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like when you talk about games and this one's asking, they're like, what are you talking about? And you're like, oh, we're just talking about games right now. Like, oh, awesome! You're like, you play anything? Uh, you know, I Fort, I dabble Fortnite. in that Call of Duty Mobile. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> Duty Mobile. God, <laughs> I mean, still a gamer. Dude, I actually got <laughs> I actually a really solid got a game though. I actually got really good at quick scoping in that game. That to be honest, <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I got bored one day. I downloaded it because you know COVID and whatever. And I did rank, and I got to I like, I think, gold or so. Were, like, I was like quick scoping kids. Takes and like all 20 minutes. I was like, like bro, I don't know what to find a match. Yeah. Like I'm so yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> that was boring. Oh, fine. Well, you guys have anything else to say tonight before we wrap up? Uh, no, that was about it. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening to another nerd cast. Oh. Uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good night. Yeah. See you next time. Did he just shit himself? I think so. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. All right, later, guys. That was really good.